Hello, my name is Steven Cortez, Virtualization Technical Marketing Engineer here at NetApp. Today we'll be talking about on-command API services and how it relates to VASA Provider 7.1's performance dashboard. So why does the VASA Provider need API services? Well, just like we provide a powerful dashboard and virtual storage console for traditional volumes, starting in BSC 7.1, we can now provide the same powerful dashboard for VBOL volumes. In order to enable this dashboard, we first need a way to programmatically request these metrics from ONTAP systems. That's where all command API services come in. Let's get started. As you see here in the left side of the slide, we have some prerequisites and on the right, a sample script to run. Let's go over the slide a little deeper. First, we need a fresh installation of CentOS or Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 to install the API services on. Next, we need to download from both MySQL and Fedora YUM repositories RPMs. Third, download from NetApp support site API services version 2.1 RC1. Finally, run the commands in the sample bash script. Now let's focus on the right hand side of the slide. Let me explain what the script is doing. The first command opens up the firewall port to 8443. This is the port needed for communications with the servers. The rest of the young commands are there to satisfy the requirements before we can install the API services package. In the interest of time, I've already downloaded the required yum repository RPMs and on-command API service package. Utilizing SCP, I've uploaded them to the Linux host. In my example, I uploaded them to slash root. Now let's SSH into the Linux host and run these commands. In the interest of time, I have sped up the video while all the prerequisites are being installed. Okay, now that all prerequisites have been satisfied, we can now run the API services installer. First thing, it asks us if we want to install the package. Type Y and then enter. Enter and confirm the admin password you want to use. Please write this down as we will need this later to register the VASA provider to the API services server. Confirm that port 8443 is okay for API services to listen on by hitting enter. Confirm that port 80 is okay for JBoss service to listen to by hitting enter. Once again, in the interest of time, I would speed up the video while the RPM packages are being installed. Super, all packages have been successfully installed. Please take note and write down the URL of the API services host. In my example, I will use the IP address 192.168.0.200.8443. Now let's go to the virtual storage console and click on configuration. Click on manage extensions. Click on enable VASA provider. Provide the VSC administrator's password and then click apply. Please log out and log back in back into the vCenter server. Let's go back into the virtual storage console view. Notice that in the VSC, we now have a new link called VASA provider of ONTAP. Please click on it. Please click on the link provided to register VASA with the API services. Provide the IP address or host name of the API services server. In my example, I use 192.168.0.200. Also provide the admin user and password we use at install time of the API services package. Click apply. Click okay. Now we can click on summary and with a quick refresh, we can see that, that powerful dashboard I mentioned earlier. In conclusion, I hope I was able to showcase just how easy it was to install and register API services with the VASA provider. This dashboard would empower your VMware administrators with a deeper insight of what's going on in your VMware environment. And with that, I'd like to say thank you.